So I want to tell you a story, but first, don't you think it's odd that when you go to fill up your car and it says unleaded, unleaded, and you're like, of course it's unleaded. Why the hell would there be lead in my gasoline? When I go to buy an apple, it doesn't say now without arsenic, right? You're not telling me all the poisons you didn't put in a thing. So why unleaded? And actually, believe it or not, for those of you who don't know, like you should go down this rabbit hole because you'll realize that in 1921, someone named Thomas Midgley Jr., who comes up again at General Motors, comes up with this actually pretty innovative way of putting well, lead, but not branded that way. Because if you said lead, people would have been like, isn't that what killed the Romans? I, the, the Romans had a problem with that in their pipes, and that's why they all went, not so good. What happened, though? was that they relabeled it, right? Rebranded it, because they're like, well, let's not tell that. Uh, a bunch of workers that were uh, part of this died because they were getting lead poison. They still pushed it forward. It wasn't completely banned until 1986. So like, pause for a second and realize that for that tender little period of 60 freaking years, we were poisoning everyone that a car drove past unprecedented amounts of lead poisoning for the population so when we get on this whole like let's cancel the epa look at all of the waste fraud and abuse going on at the people that care about the public health of people like pause for a second and realize that something like that right that ban is credited with saving around a million lives annually because we were killing ourselves for the sake of profit 